Okay, so now let's move on to um, dealing with the varicose veins and the reflection from the water. This is really the second part of all of these techniques um, in this particular photograph. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to zoom in on these varicose veins. And then I'm going to duplicate that last layer too so that I'm working, because I'm working on a new problem, so I want a new layer. And I'm going to do a, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, in fact, I might not even need to use the patch tool um, uh, after I do my um, skin technique, but I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway. I'm going to start with it. I'm going to circle some of these, and I'm basically going to drag over here to sample from a clean area, and that will um, take care of the varicose vein. And it usually does a pretty good job. And this works with all sorts of skin blemishes, um, whether they're these veins or zits or whatever. And you can see that it works pretty darn well. And again, I'm, I'm not going to go through every single um, piece here, but uh, you get the general idea. And then there's an odd shadow or dark spot here. I am going to deal with that and make it look a little bit more like these lighter areas. And sometimes you have to do things twice to uh, get the right blend. And you can see it started to blend there nicely. Do that one, bring it up there, and that's pretty good. Um, she also has some kind of imprint. Um, I noticed this with some of the other pictures too. Some kind of imprint, I think it was from her belt. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just circle that. Sample from a clean area, and that takes care of it right there. And she has some line here as well um, that was an imprint from her pants, I believe. Um, that she was wearing before she got into the bikini. So it's still imprinted on her skin. You can get rid of it that way. Um, that's pretty simple. So the next thing I want to deal with are um, these um, these reflections. They're really weird on her skin. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to do is, um, you know, what I consider to be the absolute greatest, um, you know, smooth skin technique um, available right now in the uh, in the market. And if um, you're not familiar with my um, skin technique, then go back um, into my channel and look at the other um, videos and and look for the one that um, I can't recall exactly what it's titled, but it's something like the absolute best skin technique in Photoshop and um, get the details on how to do it because I'm just going to run through it quickly here and um, not get into the nuances. But So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you can see that um, I've dealt uh, with those reflections. I'm going to go ahead and create, again, Control-Alt-Shift-E to create a new layer using all of the techniques below, all the lower layers, and building a single layer um, so that I can show you um, the difference. So here's basically the difference um, from where we landed, from, from where we started to where we landed. And she looks pretty incredible um, as in the end result and um, again I would I, you know if this was professional work I'd, I'd put a lot more time into this and um, you know I do things like add a um, probably a curves adjustment uh, layer of some sort I'd start with a um, linear contrast and then work that down just a little bit um, I'd also probably do a, uh, a contrast with this particular image I'd like to boost contrast um, when you have uh, you know a lot of sun here, so you can see the difference here. And I probably dial this into about 19 or 20. Yeah, somewhere right in here is good. And um, you know now Emma looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and this is a great set of techniques for um, sculpting bodies. So go ahead and take your own photographs and get out there and practice this. And I will see you at the next lesson.